Hello to all, and welcome back to Hearts of Silver 4. I'm Brother Templar, and on today's video we will be continuing our domination of the entire world. Hopefully. Now, straight off the bat, um, I believe this is the first time I've made a video on this game since the most recent patch, I think. Uh, which means that now it's all changed a bit. And I kind of like how they've improved it all. They've done sort of much smaller changes, like you'll notice now everyone doesn't have rifles and actually whatever guns you've invented, they actually now use in combat, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but also something I've noticed is also they've changed how aircraft perform, so now you can have this map rather than the old one, which makes it a lot easier to understand what your aircraft are doing. So. That's quite nice, I like these changes they've done. Uh, and there have also been other changes that I can't think of at the moment. Um, but they've also done some other things like lend leases are now something you can ask on other nations, but that's only for DLC members I believe. And I'm really, really not going to pay uh, Paradox money for something that I can get on a mod for free. So. Yeah, I mean, this game is like £40 in its own right, I think I paid for it, and honestly, I wouldn't say it was worth it. I mean, yeah, it's a really fun game, but there's so much wrong with it, and there's so many bugs and stuff, and exploits and what have you, that, eh, maybe half that, and I could understand, but really, it's not really worth the money as it currently already is, so, I don't know. But, oh well, let's uh, all ignore that for a bit, and I do just want to say that you may have noticed this has changed. Uh, now I own all of this land, and um, Paraguay, and Honduras, and the British uh, Mexico, and you may be wondering why, and the reason is because while I was setting up the recording, I was wondering if El Salvador would give me all their land for free, and they did, happily enough, which is great. Um, because they're pretty stupid, to be honest with you, as is the case with most AI. So they weren't really using any of it, so I just took it, really. So yeah, um, all in all, everything's looking okay, sort of. Although we are reaching something of a stalemate up here, so I might have to try and change my tactics a bit. And looking at the first order of business, I think the first thing to do is to take loads of forces from my allies. So let's see, how many forces do they really need here? Uh, eh, probably like, they only realistically need like two to defend there, so I'm gonna take four. And for Paraguay, how many do they realistically need? Mm, well, they actually need none, to be honest with you. So I'll just, um, I will take, all of them. Yeah, screw it. They're all mine. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll help the war effort. Another thing they've changed in the recent patch is this trade uh, thing that looks a bit different now. Um, but actually it's a lot better to use because now it's a lot easier to see um, where exactly you're getting stuff from and where you want them from. And also means that you can either even now look at things like what your subjects are offering you, which you can basically take a lot of for very little, which is really useful mind you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good, to be honest. Although, I have just noticed now that I'm very low on steel, so I'm going to need to take even more. Mm, 152 currently, so probably going to have to go to like 184 or something. Uh, yeah. This is quite a, quite a costly operation I'm conducting here, considering I'm trading all from over here, uh, and yet despite that, or wait, wait is it, why am I trading over here? Oh no, I'm trading over here, um, which is pretty costly considering the fact that I have no navy, and yet apparently I'm still, uh, well, uh, using convoys relatively effectively, somehow, but uh, hey ho, AI improvements, eh? You see, this is why, this is exactly 
why I said that I need to own all this land and then defend it. Because if you let El Salvador use it for even a moment, they will not defend any of the land and then it'll immediately get invaded by Australia. Always happens. Always happens. Oh, God. It's only been, what, like a couple of days and they've already invaded this land. Ugh. Naval invasions in this game genuinely are just so annoying. But either way, I've decided that there's probably not a whole lot of point in trying to rush through now, as their lines are pretty well defended, and any further attacks would be pretty suicidal, really. Um, so I'm just going to hang back, actually, and wait for my units to rearm and re-equip, and hopefully we'll be okay at some point to attack, but at this moment in time, we just aren't strong enough to really make any sort of mass offensives yet. Haha, -ha, surprise! You thought I wasn't going to attack the United States yet, and wait, but you were wrong, as we have now officially landed on United States soil. As soon as my units get there, that is. And as soon as they stop getting shot at, of course. And as soon as my capital ship effort's done. Well, there we go. And there we go. The first steps into the United States. Onto the small bit of Texas. Uh, which will probably make the United States very angry. And then send out loads of mass wave attacks. Like what they seem to always do on this game. Uh, so, yeah. This will be fun. Well, Uruguay, since you've been such a good sport and helped me through so much with providing your, you know, many uh, units, hundreds of thousands of men to fight my battles um, and died for me, I thought I've decided to give you something back. So, I'm going to start a lend lease with you and I'm going to give you an entire one basic infantry unit monthly. So... There you go. Don't spend it all too quickly, alright? Oh, I know, I know, I'm a generous man, but really, I just felt that I deserved to give something back to you, so, uh, there you go, do enjoy. As for you, Paraguay, um, you've, you've not done much better, if I'm honest, uh, and, well, to be honest with you, I, I just feel like you haven't been performing as well as, uh, Uruguay. So I'm only going to give you um, 50 tanks, or light tank 2s monthly, um, and I'll probably also give you like 10 of these monthly as well, but like, you know, I know you're thinking that I'm being a bit harsh on you, but really I felt that um, Uruguay deserves the most of it, so uh, sorry about that, but I'm sure you can understand. So uh, yeah, wait, where was I? Alright, now, since last time we spoke, I've made a bit of ground into America, but the problem is with these Mexicans is that they're holding the line firm, and I can't really proceed up this tiny little slither because, um, well, it's not great, and also it means that the supply lines are a bit awkward. Uh, so basically, I've designed a genius tactic, which will be a tactic you may better know as something that was sort of used during the fall of France, or the sickle stroke, which is simply to smash through a line and then wrap around and attack from the rear. And that is exactly what this operation will consist of. And the name of the operation will be Operation Backdoor Break-In, because there's just far too little innuendo in my videos. So, as soon as all the men are ready, Operation Backdoor Break-In will begin. Oh yes. Oh my god, and it's all over in the uh, European theatre by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it would appear many a country have surrendered, I guess. That's a bit of a strange occurrence. Uh, but it, apparently it's all over, and also, apparently the Soviet Union get this land that I own for no reason. <sighs> Why have they not fixed this yet? Seriously, this has happened to me so many times now. 
and it's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, they now get surname, do they? Of course they do. Why would they not? That makes so much sense. And also, I'm not at war with them either, so I can't take it back. <sighs> why? Just I. Oh, I cannot understand why they have not fixed this yet. Paradox, for the love of God, please fix this. It's so simple. Well, I must admit that now the, uh, well, the world looks a bit different, and I'm not too sure if... Is Japan still part of the Axis? Yeah, they are still at war, so they haven't given up yet. Uh, but yeah, some interesting things have happened here, such as the um, Soviet Union now owns part of... Uh, I believe that's Italy. Or is it Spain? Not Spain, what's Spain? No, France, even. Uh, I don't know. But now the... Uh, yeah, the French Commune now is part of France. And, yeah, Spain's gone mental. The United States owns that bit. <laughs> God. Uh, all of Germany is now the Socialist Republic. Not even a little bit. Half of Poland's been taken. That's pretty normal. Germany kept to this part. Okay. This tiny little bit is owned by the Lithuanian Independent SSR. Right. Um, any other interesting occurrences? Turkish Socialist Republic. Uh, Austria's been split in two. Right. Uh, Slovakia's pretty normal. Yeah, they're all looking pretty normal. But, uh, yeah. Really, really strange, uh, occurrences today. Huh. Ah. Well, also, I think there's some other things. Oh, yes, the Kingdom of Livia. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, they're, they're now a thing. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's all gone a bit mad. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because the um, Socialist Republic of Germany wants a non-aggression pact with me, apparently. I don't really know why. Uh, but okay. Also, the Siamese Empire and the Mengukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
shit design in that. Okay, so I was just defending this pretty large invasion that was going into Brazil with this unit, and I was just sending over some more units to go and help them, but then I accidentally pressed this unit and accidentally tom to go over there by complete accident, because there's literally no reason why I do that, because now I've lost the port, and there's no way of now stopping them. There's no way of just saying, no, I didn't mean to do that. Once again, other great features that will be lovely in this game, but inevitably aren't, because... <sighs> I, I just don't know. It, oh, this has really pissed me off now, because now I've got a massive British force in Brazil, and I don't have the forces or resources to deal with it. <sighs> For God's sake. And exactly what I was afraid of happening has unfortunately happened. Uh, yes, unfortunately we have now reached something of a stalemate up here, um, and the American forces have reinforced their lines, and it's... I mean, I can't see half of their units, but from looking down here, from what I do know, they've got some very strong defences, and I'm actually very lucky they haven't tried to attack what little um, bits of defence I have. Uh, as for fighting in Brazil, and it's also not looking great, I've deployed all of my reserves to try and stop them, and it hasn't done a massive amount. Yeah, this is this is actually very bad. Um, yeah, I mean honestly, if I wasn't recording this, I probably would have just given up by now, and uh, started another playthrough. So I'm not too sure where this is going to go. I'm going to keep on fighting the good fight, but I'm honestly offering no guarantees at this point because this has gone very uh, peak tong, as it were. Uh-oh, and speak of the devil, they've just started a major offensive against me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh... Goody, I'm now being attacked on multiple fronts, and my forces aren't actually strong enough to hold them back, so this is looking like I might have to order a total withdrawal from the United States. Oh god, <laughs> this has gone very, very badly, just as I thought it would. Well, we have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that we've actually finally gotten rid of them out of Brazil, and my reserves have actually done surprisingly well, and uh, now all of Brazil is pretty much back in our control, as is the case with uh, pretty much all, th all of South America. But the bad news is, I have deemed the situation up here to be untenable, and have decided to order a total withdrawal to this fallback line. Which means that everything I fought for this entire episode and the hundreds of thousands that have died to get this land is all basically been for nothing. I now know exactly what Hitler felt like at about 1943 in real life, as any delusions of a short war are certainly now out of the window, and despite getting incredibly close to taking uh, all of Mexico, sadly, well, it's just not gonna happen now. Uh, so now I just have to go back on the defensive, uh, regroup what forces I have, and hopefully an offensive situation may be capable of uh, presenting itself. That's the plan, anyway. Well, at the very least there is some good news now is the fact that well, I've actually been capable of successfully withdrawing all my forces from danger. Uh, so, they will be able to fight another day, luckily. But, I mean, it does sort of go without saying, though this has come with very heavy losses. Um, and has basically meant all of our efforts up to this point are useless. But, it's not yet untenable, this situation. Yes, the war can definitely still go on. Um, still loads of really random invasions over here, which are a bit annoying. But anyway, um, yes, we do still have some hope left. That being that I'm currently been building a fleet for quite some time now, 
and I'm gonna hopefully make a massive, very strong fleet that as long as we can hold the line here, I can then send up a naval invasion to hopefully break through somewhere here and quickly push into Mexico. But unfortunately, that's going to be for another episode. Uh, so yes, this will be all we're going to do really for today. Uh, as you can see, our little empire is collapsing and there's well, not a whole lot we can really do to deal with it um, at this point in time. Manpower's running out. Uh, resources are running out. Yep, all in the life of a Peruvian soldier or llama, as is the case here. So anyway, um, if you like what you saw, do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll say I'll thank you very much, and I'll see you then. And of course, long live the Peruvian Empire.